Hi, our, Hi, our friends. friends. <laughs> we have been sent some more stuff from a company that sent us some stuff recently. Yeah, Tonic Studios, if you remember those people. Yeah, we did a video called A Big Marker Hall. I'll put a link to it somewhere in case you haven't yeah, seen that one. Yeah, in case you guys haven't seen it yet, because we were really surprised that they've sent us, like, more of them. Adam's reading a letter here. So, basically, guys, before we get to the markers, um... Daniel, who we named the Marker Fairy. I don't know whether he's like promoted himself or someone at Tonic Studios <laughs> has promoted him, but he's now the Marker Fairy. Have we got any yellow markers? Have we got yellow ones? Uh, there's quite a few. <laughs> I always forget that you're colorblind, I'm sorry. Let's do this. I thought, you know, I thought they were all yellow because they've got this yellow ring around them. No, I was like, I of course we've got yellows. So we got four of these and there's three in each pack. So these ones are watercolour markers. This is uh, two glitter pens. And these two, we're going to have to fill these up with water because I think they're just like... You know when you're watercolour and you've got the brushes that can hold water in them? Oh yeah, yeah, you fill them up we've with water. We've used them in a couple of other videos yeah. before. Ooh, you can never have too many And those. another bonus that they sent. They sent us a marker holder to put all the markers in that they sent us before. They're not in colour order, so don't judge me. <laughs> Animal box not included. That's Pot Jackson. Oh, come with me, Pot. <laughs> <laughs> is he coming to have a look? But yeah, there's a little clear stand and it says new on it. And this is the first marker holder that I've ever had, so it's appreciated. Yeah, we've never had one. one of these. <laughs> and I approve of this marker holder. <laughs> is he just going to live up yeah, there now? I'm late for work. It says on the back of these ones, but it didn't on the other ones. Adult use only, not for suitable for under 14s. Oh wow, I didn't notice that. What's in these, Daniel? Why aren't you telling me? Maybe the, you know, like when crayons are non-toxic so you can eat them. <laughs> Maybe it presumes anyone under the age of 14 will try to eat them. <laughs> Don't eat them, you idiot. <laughs> so if you're under 14, just just to be covered, just don't eat them. I don't know, maybe he's put gold in them or something? <laughs> so yeah, we're about to experience these for the first time. Yeah, I think we should open some, let's see. Glitter gloss, I like this, the sound of that. I like how easy they are to open though, they've just got like two little plastic things that clip on at the side. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I like that, it, it feels like a bathroom floor. It comes with a free bathroom tile. Press. Oh, it says press. So I imagine you have to give them a squeeze and the ink will come down. Yeah, because they're the glitter ones. Okay, whose is this? That's my sketchbook, get off! <laughs> <laughs> I want to swatch them! Welcome to glitter class with me! Oh, there's something in there. That's a good sign. <laughs> it's doing something, I can hear it! I think that's your stomach! <laughs> oh, I'm so hungry for these pens! Don't eat them! <laughs> this is this is an invisible ink glitter pen. <laughs> Wait a second. There's a plastic seal on it! You dingoos! No, there's not. If you just throw that, yeah. Yep, yeah, that is now on our floor. No, no. I can see why, because I clearly don't have the brain of a 14 year old because I realize <laughs> that they all have protective things on them. Oh, yeah, the ink's coming like straight through now. <laughs> you look, it didn't like explode on you. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Well, you've got some on the paper. Oh, yeah, it's like clear, but there's glitter in it. Ooh. I don't know if you can see that. I can see it. Can you see it? There. It just looks very wet. It looks like I've sneezed on it, but there's, <laughs> there's definitely glitter in there. So I'll be clever and I'm going to take this off. Oh, you passed the IQ test. Look at the concentration. I'm trying to get it back on. Is that fully on? Did you also have a gap in it? <laughs> I'm going to need help. You need help with that. There you go, genius. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Shall we try again? So now that I've started this pen, <laughs> So we squeeze. Oh, I can hear it. Oh. oh, you can really see the glitter on that one now it's dried. Oh, uh, yeah. There we go. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, so we'll have to put that on top of some of the colours that we do. Yeah, I think that's probably what they're meant for. Unless you use um, dark paper, like when we used black paper last week. Oh, yeah, it would That would work that. really well on that. Do you lay the colour down on your drawing first? Is that how it works? Yeah, we've used the uh, watercolour ones before. You just put a, a touch of these down. I'm That's... not very good at these. <laughs> Can you not remember how to use them? No. Nope. Well, it's the same as the other ones. It's got a ring on it. <laughs> Do you think Daniel liked it? So he put a ring on all of them. <laughs> I'm, I'm making gonna... a Beyonce reference. I like how they do a little fart before they start working. It's like, oh. they're, it's like they're just a little bit nervous. <laughs> oh, wow, look at that. But we need to um, fill up one of the water brushes next to... Well, I can go fill those up for you if you want me to. If you don't mind. Let's go fill those up right now. 
Fiddling my water brush, fiddling my water brush. You know, you guys are really lucky because all this gets edited out, but I have to sit and watch every swatch. <laughs> Well, I wanted to get them all working for us so that we can draw with them. It's like day three, she's swatched four of them. <laughs> oh, and you'll be pleased to know that I have filled up some of these. Oh, and I've noticed some stuff about these pens while you were filling those up. Hmm? So if you remember with the markers, you were getting a bit confused with the colours of them because they only had like number cards. Yes. These ones have colour names on the lid. Oh. And there's a sticker with them on the barrel. Indigo Dawn. And um, the colours all come in different little sets. So this one's called Winter Skies. Mm -hmm. We also have Spring Meadow. Oh, that's a cute one. That sounds cool. Then there's Autumn Woodland mm -hmm. and Summer Holiday. So they're all named after different seasons. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> Didn't you twig? <laughs> As well, that's a cute name. When you first start getting the ink to run down, it can sometimes be a little bit messy. It can all sort of come out in one splodge, but once it's done, it seems to be okay. Do you ever go at trying to watercolor one of them? I got this working, hun. <laughs> Let's have a try. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah. That, yeah that's looking really nice. Uh, I don't think you can activate them once they've dried. So you've got to use them while they're wet? Yeah, when they're still quite freshly put down. But they do blend quite nicely when they're... When they're wet, yeah, look at that. And they're freshly coloured. I love how they're right on each one. So this one's a fine water brush and this is a medium water brush. There we go, guys. Anyway, I'll get back to swatching these and you'll see oh. me in a magic minute. Yeah, yeah. Adam will see me in For like the magic centuries. of editing, I would have like grown a beard and been grey. Like, <laughs> we're finally finished. <laughs> Oh, just one quick important note, guys, while we've been swatching these, they've been laying on the bed, and we read on the packet that you should keep them upright, so... So we brought a pencil pot in. <laughs> we're just, like, laying them all over the bed, it's like, oh, it doesn't matter if it gets on there. I mean, in hindsight, that might have been why the sent us that stand thing. Oh, yeah. But yeah. the markers are living in that, which I don't mind. Daniel's like, you're using them wrong! Maybe we are, but we don't get told what to do. <laughs> it's like pulling his hair on, like, why do I keep sending these idiots free stuff? Do you have any idea what you want to draw with these? Well, originally, because they're called Nouveau Markers, and called Nouveau Markers. Nouveau Markers, yeah. Yeah, we were going to say, let's draw an animal that begins with N, and then we were like, what animal begins with N? Naked mole rat. Yeah, we went on Google, and pretty much the only animal that begins with an N is a naked mole rat. <laughs> uh, and, and like a narwhal. The thing is, as well, because they're so colourful... It would be kind of a shame to waste them on a naked mole rat. <laughs> oh, you, you can't waste anything on a naked mole rat. Well, to be honest, that's a really good colour for a naked mole rat. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lovely pink naked mole rat colour. <laughs> if you're curious, guys, this is the paper we're going to be using. What are you doodling? I'm just sketching out a fashiony lady. She looks pretty fashionable. I thought I'd go for doing a lady because she can wear some pretty colourful patterned cloths or something. It'll work really well with the colours that we've been given. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. Are you going to give her a colourful sock that she's got in red? It's not a sock, it's <laughs> meant to be a hat. <laughs> she's setting new trends. Sock fashion. Have you ever wore a sock on your head? Yeah. How about you guys in the comments? <laughs> yeah. You guys seem to have done everything <laughs> yeah. we've ever suggested. <laughs> Here's today's question. Do you wear socks on your head on a regular basis? Oh, on a regular basis, yeah. not just this one time. We had a comment recently, guys, and it went something along the lines of comment below if you're not wearing socks. Oh yeah, we get a lot of comments like that for some reason. Is that a big thing with you guys? Do you like watching us not wearing <laughs> socks? Should, should I try doing a doodle day without wearing socks? Vote in this poll above here if you're not wearing socks. <laughs> yeah. But we love you guys, you're so quirky and you ask, <laughs> you ask such strange and amazing things. I think it's because we provoke them with unusual questions. Are we, are we strange not... and amazing? <laughs> not quite. We're different while we're one of those things. <laughs> <laughs> they've got so used to us asking strange questions that they've started asking yeah, us strange yeah. questions. It's like, oh, you're weird, let's ask your weird question. <laughs> <laughs> I know how they feel now. I mean, to be honest, guys, we are a bit strange. <laughs> What's her name? She needs a name. Um... Probably just an average name. What about Phyllis? Is that an average name? Of course, Phyllis is an amazing name. It's an amazing name, but is it average? Phyllis Sockenhauser. What are you drawing? We haven't even seen anything of yours. I'm just really infatuated with Phyllis Sockenhauser. Maybe I should call her uh, Sophia Scarfenschmitz. That sounds German. Oh, that's cool. Germany's a really nice place. Are any of you, are any of you German that watch us? 
I think they are because when we do videos about products from Tiger, there's always a ton of arguments in the comments about what oh, products yeah. from Oh, guys, Denmark. yeah, guys, yeah, seriously. <laughs> because, right, guys, when I went into Tiger, I read a few labels and spoke to a couple of people, and apparently it's Danish. <gasps> I was under the belief that it was Danish, but German people were saying that they could read what it was saying. Is, is Danish and German really similar then? Is this going to cause another argument yeah. in the comments? <laughs> Everyone calm down. It's the, it's the Tiger War 2. <laughs> I'll put those I'll, next I will to look you because they're going to fall over. Wedge them next to my fat butt, they won't move. Oh, careful you. <laughs> my, my fat butt's moving all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I got really excited. I'm giving her pink hair. Ooh. I'm gonna line it afterwards because I'm scared that whatever I line it with, it might run. Oh, okay. Oh. You nearly put all of that on the picture. <laughs> yep, almost. <laughs> Thankfully, I could see that it was a different colour around. That might have been the first doodle day that we would have had to censor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, there it goes. Yeah, it's doing it. Look at that. I wanna try put more of the colour. Oh, put the wrong lid on. That's cool that it fits on, though. <laughs> If you want to mix and match your lids, <laughs> that's a trick. Hey, that'd be a that'd make a pretty cool marker challenge if you swapped all the lids around. <laughs> you wouldn't know what color. <laughs> yeah. Do any of you guys have pink hair? I once accidentally dyed my you hair. You did, pink. didn't you? <laughs> One time, you actually dyed it pink by completely by mistake. It was meant to be post box red. And it lied. It was like <laughs> magenta pink. Want to look like a post box, eh? Yeah, that was the look I was trying to go for. <laughs> I was trying to look blocky and very red. Oh wow, these are like watercolours because that started to run into my pink. Oh, is it because it's still wet? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's really cool, but I'm also like, ah! So once I get that hair to dry, I might try to do like a bunch of colours for the jumper just to try and get like a really watercolour. Oh, like a multicoloured one. Yeah. Kind of like that paper I accidentally did. There's some really cool effects going on on yeah, this. Yeah, look at that. Have you put one of those rings on your fingers? I've got two. Someone liked me that much, they put two. When you were little, did you used to put hula hoops on all your fingers? Yeah, and eat them off, and I used to like bite my fingers. Yeah. I love hula hoops. Isn't it devastating when you finally get to an age where your fingers are too fat to put in hula hoops? <laughs> or fit in Pringle tubes. Oh, if I do this with my hand, I can still get in a Pringle yeah, your tube. Hands are like, your hands are so small, but me, I just like get thump, and I have to get it removed by like a surgeon. Or you take advantage of the fact that I have small little hands though, because you make me clean behind the toilet because you yeah. say that you can't fit behind the, <laughs> the toilet bring me those last pringles <laughs> i get all the unfun jobs to do <laughs> what feeding me pringles and cleaning behind the toilet yeah. <laughs> let's give them blue eyes that's lilac oh well it's happening <laughs> it's got the color names on it oh <laughs> it's actually called lilac as well <laughs> shut up <laughs> <laughs> let's color in the eyes Azure blue. <laughs> it's a very dark blue. <laughs> oh, my world for a light blue. <laughs> it looks kind of nice in the line, look really. This is a this is a brush pen. This is just water. I know, but I had lilac. Oh. And you've picked up the lilac. Well, maybe she's wearing circle lenses. As if you know about circle lenses. Hey, I'm cool with the trends. I know all these things. <laughs> Ever since we started doing YouTube, guys, I've been educated in so many things. <laughs> Now the way you did it is you put some colour down first. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put some here where it folds in. Because I imagine it would be darker there, right? Oh, look at you trying to plan where your lights and darks are. As you can see, guys, I'm not very good with them, but... Well, are you managing to use them? <laughs> yeah, I haven't got it like shoving it in my nose and stuff. I'm like, how do you use these? You haven't attempted to eat it yet. It's <laughs> going well. I'm not 14. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't tell me your colour in the sock. Um, I'm going to try line it with the Oh, yeah, yeah. Pen. Does it have good control with it? Is it easy to use? Yeah, it's just like a brush pen, really. I'm really struggling with remember what I named your character as well. <laughs> something like Philippa the Sockhead or something. Oh, no, it was, it was Phil <laughs> Phyllis the Sockhead. Oh, let's try. What are you going to use now? <laughs> I'm nervous because I'm just sort of going with this on a whim. Okay, so I'm gonna Whoa. put I'm gonna put some green on, on the... the skirt. Okay. And then I'm gonna try to it in black. Whoa. Let's try. That's, that's pretty brave of you. It is. Cause I don't even get this adventurous with watercolors <laughs> when I use them. <laughs> this is definitely looking quite watercolory. 
so far. I definitely think that yours will be the true test of how watercolory they are, since you have no idea how to use watercolours. <laughs> That's terrible! <laughs> Why would you give it to someone to review who doesn't know how to use them? <laughs> because you are representing everyone, the average person who has no idea what they're doing. I do that in a lot of departments. <laughs> I've had an idea for a fun experiment that I'll try oh, for no. her jump on. Oh, I thought you went with no, mine. No, no, not like, with ah, yours. Ah. <laughs> I wondered why you were dreading my experiment. Oh no, she's experimenting again. I'm gonna try do the jumper in a light wash of water and then like drop different droplets of colour on to see if it'll do that watercolour oh, thing whoa. when it expands out. I hope that works because that'll look really nice. That'll be a fun watercolour yeah. test. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little bit here. It, it's a super bright like yeah. navy blue or ultramarine blue that's what i'm gonna do royal blue a couple of bits in see if i can like gradient it to go yeah down. you'll be able to let's try and get yeah let's try and get a lot of water and see what happens well i think i may have messed this up <laughs> no it's just created a bit of a shadow under the scarf that's all that's kind of what i was going for <laughs> but not quite as harsh <laughs> It's like she's wearing a scarf that's made out of lead. It's like, ah, oh, so dense. So I've just been trying to go over some of my lines to make them a bit darker. Ooh. And I used the red one to just yeah, do a few of the hair tips. That looks good. And I used this fine liner, which I already had, to uh, do the facial details. And I've put it on some bits of like the hat and I've outlined the skirt as well. And I've noticed that you finished the court. Oh, and now you're colouring in the boots. The boots, yeah, trying to. It does definitely look like you've done it in watercolour. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this next bit's going to be quite daring. Oh, this is the, this is the bit. Yeah, I'm I've been nervous. excited for this. Oh no, the water's bleeding from my... Uh... <laughs> that's not the bit I wanted the to The first be blob is like... Argh! Okay, you know what, we just, we just got to roll with this. I don't want to touch the hair, because... I don't want the hair to all bleed into it. Hey, would you like try squeezing it to make like a blob fall on it? You can do. Oh, is it? Oh. Whoa. <laughs> well, it's running. Whoa. Oh, it's creating like a tie-dye kind of effect. That looks so cool. Whoa, Whoa. look at that. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> so where, where, does, uh, where does Phyllis shop for these jumpers exactly? Uh, she tie dyes them herself on her body while she's fully dressed. <laughs> Does she just get dressed and like rub printer cartridges on her body? <laughs> yeah. Like, mm, I'm gonna look so good. I probably didn't pick the most complimentary of colours. I know, but because you didn't, it looks really interesting. Whoa! No! <laughs> that was a lot more than <laughs> was intended. And I think I've used the wrong colour. Oops. Oh my god, look at that! Okay, so I'm gonna dab it. Oh, Whoa, that, that. that's an interesting effect. <laughs> so like, I look away for a minute and you're doing it again. <laughs> yeah. So let's dab this time. Ha, <laughs> dabbing. You guys always accuse me of dabbing. I know, I think the paper's starting to not forgive me. Okay, after Oh, this. that bit looks so nice. That bit there. <laughs> kind of looks like she's got this really cool war wound or something. <laughs> no war wound. She, she got in a fight with a tie-dye machine. <laughs> it's my wall wound from when I fought my tie-dye machine. Oh, you adding a little bit of shadow? I'm trying to. Oh, add but, some leaves. But just between you and me, guys, um, the reason that it's dried is because our shopping just arrived. <laughs> I was having such a good time. I was like, oh, I'm going to make this look, shadow look so good. Oh. I had a ton of colourful splodges to this jumper. <laughs> it, you know, it turned out really, really nice. You know, that was totally worth it. That dump has had some dabbing. <laughs> you dab too much, you'll end up like that thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah we, have, yeah, we totally forgot the first one that we used and we didn't use it, so. The glitter brush pen. Let's try and use it on... The scarf. The scarf, I guess, yeah. Let's see what we can get with this. Okay guys, let's see if I can show you this real quick. Can you... The, oh! kind of there so a big thank you to the guys over at tonic studios yeah, thank you, for Daniel. sending us this stuff you rich marker fairy you sending <laughs> us free stuff and um if you want to see another video of us using watercolor markers we will link it somewhere here i'll link that above and i'll also link the video that we did with those markers yeah which tonic studios also sent us thank you guys <laughs> do, -do, 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 -do. my water brush my water brush